Today, I'll be cooking porridge beans, but not for the first time. However, I'll be cooking it for the first time in a faster way and it will be very delicious. Welcome to my cookie channel like father like son. My name is Vine Nogu. I'm your local chef. So today we'll be cooking porridge beans. Like I said, it's not for the first time. What's so special about today's episode is because I've discovered a faster way to pick my beans and also a new method to cook it with simple ingredients and it will be very delicious. So wait and watch to the end of this video to learn this new skill. I don't used to like beans when I was growing up because I, I went to a boarding school so the way they prepared the beans for us was not really pleasant even to the eye not to talk of when you eat it so it made me to have this um you like call it hatred or so just made me not to like beans but during this pandemic I discovered my new love for beans after I found a new way to cook it so that new way is what i'm going to be sharing in this video when it comes to cooking beans there's something that makes it tedious for people and that is picking the bad seeds out or stone or the dirt out from the beans it's somehow tedious so because you have to be careful if you don't pick out the stone or the bad seed or the dirt from the seed by the time you cook it you'll be eating sand and some other things and it will make your beans not to be enjoyable you know so the first step is for us to pick our beans neatly and it could be time consuming but in this video you will learn a faster way to pick your beans yeah i'm a genius i'm a genius i'm a genius so i'm going to be sharing it with you it's a simple way so you you, you can learn it with me so here we go um here is my beans i'm ready to pick them you can see I've already put it in the tray. I'm using the normal white beans. So I prefer the normal white beans, even though some people say the brown or red one is sweeter, but I'm using the white one so that you will know how delicious it will be by the, by the time I'm done cooking it. So I've put them in, the, in a tray the first step is to blow away the chaff then you move the seeds to your right side or the right side of the tray then gradually pick them to the left the good ones you move them to the left picking out the stones and any other hidden chaff or dirt so that's the simple way to pick your beans as you can see it in this video in less than two minutes you're done move everything to one side and move the good ones to the left side that way you will see the stone or any other unwanted element among the seeds okay now that we are done all i need to do now is to pour the good ones into a bowl and then wash it oh 
when I say I don't like beans, uh, I only prefer to eat beans. Not that I don't eat beans at all, but I prefer to eat it either with rice, plain beans with rice, you know, and stew, you know. Um, but porridge beans, I can't eat it really alone. Either there's something in it like yam or plantain, you know, or fish and all those things. But now, now, I'm a changed person because I've learned the secret of cooking delicious beans and I'm going to be sharing with you for the first time. So you too can enjoy what I'm enjoying. So now I can eat porridge beans alone and it will be very delicious. Mm. Ah. For the first time. You know, and I cook it, that time we'll cook beans, we'll eat it with gari. You know, with that gari, you know, if at times we even sprinkle the gari on top of the beans in order for us to enjoy it. But right now, with my new secret, which I'm going to be sharing with you at the end of this video, you will find out that secret. You will now be eating your beans just like that and it will be very delicious, finger licking delicious. So let's, without much ado, let's dive into the process. The good thing about washing the beans is when you're washing it, the remaining chaff or other unwanted elements in the beans, you will see them because once you put the beans inside water, the chaff will come up. You can easily look at them and take them off. So what do we need to cook this our beans? First of all, we need the beans mm -hmm. and also palm oil. Mm -hmm and also salt mm -hmm. and also water mm -hmm. we will need onions we will need some other spices okay that's it that's it but at the end it will be very very delicious you just need to watch this video to the end and see the secret of this cooking if you don't like beans after watching this video and you try cooking your own beans you will start loving beans and if you've given up on beans after watching this my video you will rekindle your love for beans so the first step is to wash our beans and put it inside a boiling hot water allow it to cook for some time then add onions and allow it to cook for some minutes Then add salt, all purpose spices, pepper. For this, I'm using the Cameroon pepper because I want the color to come out, the dark color, and at the same time, I want it to be very hot. Allow it to boil for some minutes again, then taste it to see if the beans is now soft. Then add one cube of no. Allow it to boil for some minutes again. Then 
after that add little quantity of oil as you can see before adding the oil the color of the beans is already coming out because i like my beans to be very colorful and spicy i mean when i mean colorful i mean like the oil color reddish not just not just white or plain you know as you can see the color of the spices are now coming out so by the time i add the oil you see that the beans will now be more colorful so i like my food to be enticing to the eye and also delicious when you taste it and spicy and hot allow it to cook for some time then your beans should be done stir and allow it to cool Voila, our beans is ready, so we're going to taste it now, okay, 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 all right. It's very delicious, very, very, very delicious, just the way I wanted it to be. But it's still hot, so I'm going to allow it to cool. You can also eat it with um, bread if you like or gari if you like or any other thing you want to add to it but for mine it's just plain beans like this then I'm eating it with bread Thank you for watching this video to the end if you enjoyed it leave me a comment like it also subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share with your friends next week i'll bring you another interesting video of another recipe that you will love i'm still vine inogu your local chef